So this is our first uh, period of showing this year's 2017 PBL proposal and pitch exhibit here at East Line High School. We're in the North Gym and we have a combination of English 2 classes that are proposing via audiovisual for a eventual community service project and then we have a handful of um, junior and freshman projects uh, some of, of actually all of which are curricular in nature so uh, kind of walking through here and you can see that we have a lot of projects dealing with the Odyssey and then uh, for the junior American Lit kids they are dealing with catcher in the right so this one here is really interesting we'll take a look at this one here so this is a cello exhibit Kind of get a look at this here. So they're still kind of setting up. Reprint the cello and then use that in order to play a song that we're writing. That we're writing a piece for ourselves. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna record a video. That's what this video frame is for. This whole thing. Yeah. So we're gonna use this in order to record a video of ourselves playing. It's gonna, it's gonna feature uh, a couple popular songs. Uh, no, this is just really the, the, the uh, uh, yeah. This is uh, a project that Fabian worked on earlier. Uh, this is 3D printed uh, by Ellen. So we're basically gonna take this same idea and just apply it to it. So as you can see, they have a 3D printed violin. They're doing the same sort of concept, but with a cello. And they're creating their own song, um, and it's going to illustrate elements of innocence taken from songs developed circa 1950s, and that's their connection to Catcher in the Rye, since protection of innocence was one of Catcher in the Rye's major themes. Pretty interesting. Here is the handcrafted one that they are working on. It's really cool. All right, so we'll keep on working around here. Hi girls, tell me about your project. So we're doing decades, different decades of clothes and how like different, like how more revealing it is, like towards the decade, like the 60s and 70s was not as revealing. And as like the time goes on, it gets more and more revealing with all the clothes. And so how is this connecting to Catcher in the Rye? Because in Catcher in the Rye, it talks about like they're protecting innocence for like a bunch of different things in this. And we're doing like the revealing, non-revealing, and that's like the innocent part of it. Like how like the clothes are. Very cool. Excellent. Thank you girls. Nice job. A couple other cool ones. <laughs> Looks like we'll have some food later on, which is cool. take us through this pretty quickly here. So a lot of people are voting on these proposals. Sophomore students. Pretty cool. People are pitching ideas. We have some handcrafted stuff from pottery class here. Interesting. Hey man. Hey. So we'll come back through later on and show a few other snippets. Should be pretty cool. And the food will be coming out later, it looks like. So the way that we have it set up a little bit different, these are 
proposal pitches, these are not end products. Uh, kids are trying to get input on what other students think might be interesting for end products, and then they're going to be developing end products from the feedback collected over the next uh, month or so. So pretty, pretty cool. And uh, as always, really a great showing of support from all of our uh, faculty, uh, staff, and students here at Leiden. So, all right, signing off.